On this video, I'm going to show you how to create group breakout sessions and how to create a Teams meeting for each group. Once again, this will be a one-time creation of a meeting that will be good for the whole year for that group. So you see I already have a folder called Breakout Sessions. I'll create another one to show you how. So I'm on my Teams page under Materials. And I'm going to click on this button that says Add Materials and Add a Folder. And I am going to call it Groups number two. And I'm going to make it pink. And if you want to put a description, you can put a description um, if you like. So I'm going to hit Create. And here we called it Groups 2. Then I have to go into my Members and create a group. So if you look on the left-hand menu, you click on Members. And what you, you should see when you click on Members is all of your students in your class listed. And if you see underneath each student's name, if they're already a member of a group, you'll see here. It lists their group affiliations. So I've made some other groups and some members of my class already are affiliated with some groups. In order to create a new small group, right over here, I can click Add Grading Group. When I click Add Grading Group, I can click over here where it says Selected, and I can add students. So I want to add Ms. Thomas. She's added and click on her, and I'm also going to add Mrs. Vicious Shelley. Shelley, not at all. And I'm going to click and add her. So it sees there's two students added to the group, and I create grading group. Oh, I forgot to name it, and I'm going to name it group one. So now I have a group called a grading group called group one. And if you look underneath their names under Ms. Thomas, she's a member of group one. And Ms. Fisher Shelley is a member of group one. So anything I assign to group one from here on out, only those two will have access to that um, creation. A meeting in Teams, get the link and assign it to that group. So let's do that real quick. I'm going to go back over to the left menu. I'm going to click Teams. Create meeting link. It's called group one meeting space. And I, again, I don't care what the date and the time are because all I want is the link. I hit create. And I get a link and I'm going to hit the copy button. Now I have that link. So I'm going to go back up to materials. I'm going to find my groups folder, groups number two. I'm going to find group one because that's where I want to put the link. And here is where I, I will create a meeting just for group one. So under materials, add materials, add file link, external tool. And of course, we want link. And we post the link in there. We're going to call it group one, one meeting space. Very important, two things you have to do to assign it just to that group. The first is where it says display in Schoology. When you hover over, you click until it says display a new window. And in these three dots, there's a green, red, and blue dot. You click individually assign, and it wants to know who to assign it to. And we created a group called group one, and we start typing and look group one. Um, pops up, we click We click group one. That means this link, this meeting is only going to be open to the people that I included in group one. It won't even be visible to anybody else. And I'm going to click add. So now in the group one folder, only the people who I added to group one earlier will have access to this meeting. And this meeting space will never go away. You make it once. And any kids you assign to group one, will be able to go into this space. If you decide to change the group one members at some other point, you click on members, you click on group one here, 
edit group and now you can change the groupings you can add new students you can remove the students who are already in there and that link will still work for the students you've added so that's how you create groups and add meeting links to the group